just now we are coming to question number 16 of exercise 12a and that is for class 10 concise maths textbook this is the question based on reflection and we are going to use graph paper to solve this on the graph paper we have to plot the triangle abc whose vertices are the points a 3 comma 1 b 5 comma 0 and c 7 comma 4 and on the same diagram we have to draw the diagram of the triangle abc under reflection in the origin uh, that is o 0 comma 0 okay so it is reflection in the origin so we are going to have our points a which is 3 comma 1 b is going to be 5 comma 0 and c is going to be 7 comma 4 and these points are going to get reflected in the origin so I'm going to call MO means a reflection in origin. Let us say it will be A dash. And for reflection in the origin, what is our rule? If I have a point which is A comma B, then under reflection in the origin, it becomes minus A comma minus B, correct? So A dash will be minus 3 and Y coordinate which is 1 which will become minus 1. So A 3 comma 1 becomes A dash which is minus 3 comma minus 1. B is 5 comma 0. When it is reflected in the origin it will become B dash and 5 which is the X coordinate will become minus 5. And 0 will remain 0 because it cannot become negative 0. C which is 7 comma 4 which is reflected in the origin to make it C dash. And X coordinate 7 will become minus 7 and Y coordinate 4 will become minus 4. Alright now let us see how we are going to plot this. I have got the graph ready over here. As you can see, I have this is the y axis, this is the x axis and remember our values, I'll just mention it over here, the values of a, b and c. So it's easier. So in order to plot these values for a, b and c, uh, we have to look at the coordinates of a, b and c you see that x coordinate is up to 7 which means when I take the coordinate axis like so this should have if this is the origin from here to here I should have minimum 7 blocks but I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks so I will have to take the scale as from here to here this is 2 cm so that will be 2 cm will give you 2 units. So let us take the scale the way I have mentioned x axis and y axis both will have 2 cm equal to 2 units. So from here to here 2 units from here to here 2 units like that. Okay now a is 3 comma 1 so your x coordinate is 3 so it will be between these two this will be our 3 over here so 3 comma 1 your 1 will be here 5 divisions now let me just magnify this so that it's easier for us so this is the fifth division over here so this is 1 2 3 4 5 yeah this is 1 so we have your A will be 1 with this and here with 3. So it will be this point here. Alright. So this is your A. A is 3 comma 1. Our B is 5 comma 0. So we will come to B will be here 
this point over here this is 5 so this will be a b and b is going to be 5 comma 0 okay and your c is 7 comma 4 so we have 7 which is midway between this and this so this will be a 7 and our 4 is here so it will go up like so this is our point C that is 7 comma 4 now let us join these so A and B is joined so a triangle is ready ABC now what we are expected to do is reflect it in the origin so we are going to reflect it in the origin so your a dash where is our a dash can you see that a dash is minus 3 comma minus 1 so it will be here this will be minus 3 and this will be over here minus 1 so this is going to be your a dash your b dash is going to be this is 5 comma 0 so it will be minus 5 minus 5 comma 0 will be here like this this will be your b and your c will be c is minus 7 so here it will be minus 7 comma minus 4 so minus 4 is here minus 7 is here okay and we have to join this so let us just write the coordinates of this this is your a dash which will be minus 3 comma minus 1 this will be our b dash b dash will be minus 5 comma 0 and this will be our c dash c dash is minus 7 comma minus 4 now let us join a so we have seen this is our a b and c point over here now can you see this a is looking kind of untidy over here so let us write this a outside here and let us call this as 3 comma 1 like this outside and we can just clear this up all right so this is the way we have to solve this okay most important is don't forget the scale part because our c is 7 comma 4 remember it becomes difficult for us to take 2 centimeters equal to 1 unit okay because we can accommodate only 5 units over here okay so i hope you have understood this question this question is your question 16 of exercise 12a of concise maths okay now we are coming to the end of this video and i just want to mention that my online course for physics chemistry and maths is soon going to be published so keep looking out in the description box and thank you for watching.